Your favorite album covers may contain hidden images that you totally missed. Today I'm running through 10 interesting examples. Remember to stick around to the end of the video for the question of the week. First up, we have the 1981 album from Black Sabbath called Mob Rules, and there's some pretty interesting stuff going on here. The cover is based on a painting by science fiction artist Greg Hildebrand. Check it out. This is the original artwork. It looks very similar to the album cover, but there are some significant changes. Obviously, the band's name and the album title were added, but there are a couple other differences if you look really closely. The blood splatter on the cloth in the middle of the image was made to look like a demon's face or maybe the devil, I don't know. Also, the hook hanging from a chain on the left side of the cloth was changed to a crucifix. For decades, it's also been rumored that this writing here in the corner says kill Ozzy. Obviously, at this point, Ozzy had left the band and they were not on good terms. If you look closely, I guess I can kind of see the words Ozzy, but for the life of me, I cannot see the word kill, so I will chalk that one up to an urban legend. Next up, we have the 1982 album from Black Sabbath called Live Evil, which was the follow-up to Mob Rules. This cover is super cool. If you look at the lightning, you can make out a devil head kind of hidden there in plain sight. The artwork also depicts characters from Black Sabbath songs. For example, you can see the Neon Knight and the War Pig. And Heaven and Hell is represented by the Angel and the Devil. The 1976 self-titled album from Boston is one of my favorites when it comes to hidden images, because once you see this one, you cannot unsee it. The cover has a sci-fi theme with three stylized spaceships taking off to who knows where. They're probably escaping that flaming rock, which is apparently supposed to be the Earth blowing up. But flip the cover upside down and the spaceship become guitars. More specifically, they appear to be single cutaway acoustic guitars. Oddly, they each have four strings, like a bass, but there appear to be six tuning pegs, three on each side of the headstock, so I can't figure that one out. It doesn't really make sense, but neither do flying guitars. There's been rumors and speculation for years that Led Zeppelin was in cahoots with the devil himself, and this album did not help matters much. You gotta check out the gatefold. Got this picture of this old man on this mountain, but there's so much more to it. The artwork was originally a pencil illustration commissioned by Jimmy Page. The old man was inspired by a figure from a tarot card. And here is where things get cool. To get the full effect, you have to hold the image against a mirror. When you do, a few things emerge. First, you see a black dog. And black dog, of course, is the first song on the album. You can also see the image of what appears to be a goat, or as some people claim, a demon. You can see the horns on the left and right side of the black dog. And above the dog, you can see what could be a snake or a serpent. Kind of creepy, right? Now check this out. When you flip the mirrored image upside down, you spot even more cool stuff. You see this guy who resembles Mario wearing a Pope's hat or something like that. Then on the hat, you can see the image of another head. What this all means, I have no idea, but there is a wealth of secret images on this album. Next up, The Police, Ghost in the Machine from 1981. The use of the seven segment displays was innovative in that it permitted each of the three displays to take on the basic characteristics of the three members of the band. Each of the displays features different hairstyles representing the band members. From left, we have Andy Summers, then Sting, and then Stuart Copeland. What does this all mean? Well, it could be portraying the guys as ghosts inside a machine. This is a fun album. The Beastie Boys debut from 1986, License to Ill. The cover features the image of a plane crashing into a mountain, but of course there's more to it. The plane's serial number reads 3MTA3. Reversed, that says, eat me. And when you open the gatefold, you can see right here the plane resembles a lit joint. The image reminds me of something you would have seen back in Mad Magazine or National Lampoon. I thought it was a lot of fun. You could do an in-depth video on pretty much every Iron Maiden album from the 1980s. Artist Derek Riggs was brilliant. 
for this video, I want to show you a couple of Easter eggs in Iron Maiden's 1984 album, Power Slave. If you look closely at the Egyptian imagery, you'll find a few funny messages. These include, what? No Guinness? Indiana Jones was here in 1941. This one says, what? A load of crap. And over here, you see the word bollocks. And right over here, an image of Mickey Mouse. I have always loved the artwork for Santana's 1969 self-titled debut. The cover is a complex drawing featuring the head of a lion. Inside the lion's head, though, are eight hidden faces. My favorite are the eyes. If you look closely, there are two gasping faces, each leaning on an outstretched arm. Above the eyes are two men looking at each other, and on top of that is another face. Below the eyes are two more faces, one on each side. Now look at the jawbone. It's actually a hula skirt worn by a woman whose head is nestled between the lion's eyes. Her legs are below the jaw, and the lion's lips are actually her crossed arms. I hesitate to even bring this one up because... I am no Beatles expert, and so much has been said about this record. The cover of the Beatles' 1967 album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, depicts several dozen celebrities and other images. I'm not going to go through them all, but the list of celebs includes Lenny Bruce, W.C. Fields, Carl Young, Edgar Allan Poe, Bob Dylan, Marilyn Monroe, and a ton more. In addition to the celebs, there are also a ton of crazy props depicted here. One of the more notable props is a Shirley Temple doll wearing a sweater that says, Welcome the Rolling Stones. More on that in a second. Speaking of the Rolling Stones, here we have their 1967 album, Their Satanic Majesty's Request. If you look closely at the cover, you can see the faces of each of the four Beatles. This was reportedly a response to the Shirley Temple doll I just showed you on the cover of Sgt. Pepper. It's obscured, but you can see Paul, George, John, and Ringo once again kinda hidden in plain sight. What other images and secret messages have been hidden on classic album covers? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again real soon. Till then, keep on spinning.